So uh, today I thought I would talk a bit about the Swedish summer and appropriately this has been a typically Swedish summer day. Starts off just fine with a bit of sunshine and some nice temperature and then it just goes straight down the toilet with um, a skyfall, a barrage a waterfall in our heads and uh, I thought I would go swimming but uh, I think not the temperature has like uh, dropped to 14 15 degrees or something like that but that's just the way it is so instead I thought I'd show you guys some typically Swedish produce of the summertime this is a classic strawberries but not just any strawberries Swedish strawberries Swedish strawberries is a delight sweet yummy fresh funky fantastic um, we get a lot of imports from Belgium and Holland uh, those are big uh, strawberry producing countries um, but uh, they're generally not that good uh, partly because uh, the travel makes the strawberries a bit sick um, and also because I don't know there is something special with the Swedish strawberry um, it tastes different better I don't know if we use less um, um, bad things for the strawberries um, but uh, yeah, generally it tastes uh, so much better. Here's to the Swedish strawberry. Mm. Okay, so here's another thing that is big in my family. Ah yes, it's a cucumber. But not just any cucumber of course, it's a Swedish cucumber! Uh, well it is, but it's also a what do we call it? We call it a fresh salted uh, cucumber which means it has been uh, sitting, soaking in a salt bath um, pickling to a certain degree it's, uh, you know, of course pickles are big everywhere but pickles tend to be on the soggier side and the cucumber, when pickled, usually tend to go a bit darker um, and a bit uh, more uh, not so pleasing color. Um, this looks still like a fresh cucumber, and that's the big thing about these things. Uh, you can only find them in uh, big. Uh, plastic uh, jars, big jars with this salt water and it's really big in my hometown Motala um, there you can find it in any supermarket um, and these guys are one of the best things about Swedish summer the only time you can get it is during the uh, summer half year um, and they taste so much better than the more pickled uh, variations on the cucumber. Um, these taste fresh, um, of course salty, a bit sweet, um, have that fantastic crunch um, and are super great to have on the on a sandwich with some sliced cheese and uh, some nice pickles. I can't really compare this to any other pickle I've tasted actually. This is uh, unique, one of its kind. And you should definitely seek one out if you get the chance to botanize a Swedish supermarket. So you can find uh, these uh, bridges almost uh, anywhere in Sweden. Um, and uh, since we have Allemans Rett um, we can go anywhere uh, and jump in 
there are of course certain private areas uh, owned by home homeowners and stuff like that but uh, generally you can go almost anywhere in Sweden um, and uh, hike anywhere uh, use a bridge anywhere and jump in the water and have a gale time so yeah Sweden is pretty great actually in case you haven't snapped it up snapped it up well Swedish summers may be what they are but they're at least better than most summers we get to have fresh air uh, we we're better than Donna summers I guess uh, no disrespect to uh, Miss Donna of course Miss Donna Miss Donna if you're watching this and have a kind heart Oh, please, please, consider subscribing. It would mean the world to me. Like the world. <sighs> Maybe even giving me a thumbs up. <laughs> Liking my stuff. Ma Mom would be pleased. She would be proud of me. Finally proud of me. Yeah, proud. Mom, she would be so proud. <laughs> Well, enough about me.